Hey, what's up everyone? Greg here. And at Apple's WWDC, they actually announced an application called Siri Shortcuts. Now this application hasn't been available on any of the betas up until today. It's not widely available yet. You actually have to sign up for a developer account and you also have to be accepted into a beta program just to be able to use the Shortcuts app. And that's been rolling out to a few people who have signed up through the developer web portal. And I actually got it today. So I wanted to give you a little hands-on with this. Now I have actually shown you in previous videos, the workflow app, which is very similar, although the Siri Shortcuts does get some system level applications that Workflow did not have before, as I'll demonstrate right now. So as you can see, as we open up the Shortcuts app, it looks very similar to Workflow. If you've ever used Workflow before, it's kind of like all these automations that you'll be able to do. One of the more powerful things with Siri Shortcuts is that you will be able to use Siri to automate these commands and it's more built into the system, so it has a deeper integration with all of Apple's apps. For example, one of my previous videos, I showed you the Mega64 shortcut I set. Mega64 is a YouTube group, and they have a YouTube channel that I'd like to access with a shortcut. Now, previously, when I used the Mega64 shortcut, it would actually open up Safari and take me to YouTube on Mega64's page. With Siri integration on this, you can actually go right into the YouTube app when using this command. So if you go into the settings, you can actually see it's just a very simple workflow, and it gets a random Mega64 video. Now, I can actually chain this into a Siri command as well, if you hit the settings over here, you can see the Siri shortcut. You can do add to Siri, which it already is added to Siri. So let's go ahead and test this out with Siri. So you can see it took me to the Mega64 YouTube channel and it went right to the YouTube application. It didn't have to go and open Safari. It actually has deeper integration with iOS. So you can just use applications like YouTube that's actually really cool and very powerful. Now you'll see it's a random shortcut. So if I go ahead and do it again, Mega 64. Use it right. You know, like if you're, if you're using it. So it takes me to another random video in that Siri shortcuts. So if you have a favorite YouTube channel, you can actually make a Siri shortcut to take you right to their channel if you want to set that up to play their latest video or just get a random video anytime you want. That's something you can actually do with Siri shortcuts. It's pretty cool. So if you go into a create shortcut, we have a bunch of shortcuts over here, but let's go ahead and create one. So you can see all of the cool little actions we get when we want to create a shortcut. You can do calendar events, you can do reminders, you can go into your contacts, email address, phone number. You can even log health data, get locations from maps, do music, photos, all these little things that you want to do, even going into scripting, some really, really detailed stuff that you wanna get into, you can set up with Siri shortcuts. And you just have so many different scripting shortcuts you could do too, like getting the battery levels, your IP address, details about your device, network details. You could turn off flashlight, turn on your cellular, turn off, set the Wi-Fi, all different things you can do with Siri shortcuts. There's really a ton of things to choose from here and you can kind of chain all of those actions together. So all of the shortcuts for this video are pre-made. I didn't want to take you through setting by setting. Some of them can take a little while to set up. Some of them are simple and are really quick to set up. You can actually go over to the gallery too, and you can get pre-made shortcuts that you can just go ahead and download, and then you can kind of set them up and tweak them if you want to as well. It's really easy just to get shortcut, and it goes right to your library. And there are lots and lots and lots of shortcuts that you can browse through different things. If you have task managers, if you want to take notes, uh, if you want to log your way, all different sort of things that you can download. So let's explore another shortcut I made. This one's called Goodnight, and I'll kind of show you the actions I did to make it. So for Goodnight, I actually have it set an alarm for 5 a.m. I reduce the brightness of the screen because I'm going to bed in case I want to look at my phone. I don't want to be blinded by, you know, intense light coming at me. And I also set a Do Not Disturb that will lift at 7 a.m. I also have a custom text field over here where Siri will say goodnight to me. And you can kind of see that you get a speak to text option as well. And you kind of have to place them all in this string. But when you actually do that, you can play it. Good night. And it does the custom workflow right for you right there. You can see the screen dimmed. If you go into the control center, you'll see I have do not disturb enabled. And if we go over to my alarms, we should see an alarm enabled for 5 a.m. And there it is, the alarm is enabled for 5 a.m. Now again, because this is Siri shortcuts, I can go ahead and use a Siri command as well. So let's go ahead to the home screen and use the Siri command I set for this. Good night. Good night. Done. And you can see it ran that custom workflow that I set up 
with that Siri command. So this kind of makes life a little bit easier for us. I know every night I always set a couple of alarms. I set do not disturb and I will reduce the brightness. This kind of just takes care of all of those actions in one very simple, easy to use action. Say you want to jump to a specific video, one of your favorite videos, maybe one of my videos and you make a custom command for notch. You could just go the notch. The notch. A fresh batch of new Android phones have just been announced, but there's some. And look at that. It takes you right to your favorite video on your favorite YouTube channel, and you can watch it right away. And you even get a custom Siri response saying the notch, the classic notch video of all time. So let's go over one more Siri shortcut in this video. We actually have one for sharing a song to a playlist, and you can actually send a message out that you shared this song to a playlist and it'll add to the playlist and it'll actually play the song for you. So you can go ahead and go into the Siri shortcut. You can see it gets the current song, it adds it to a playlist, and it'll send a message to whomever you choose. I just chose myself for this video. And then we can either play it or I'll do the Siri shortcut command. Share song. And it runs that shortcut and it actually gives you the playlist of both songs that I had on the playlist and the song we just added. So there's already a song on the playlist and the song we just added to the playlist. And you can actually see it added the current song I was listening to, to the playlist. Again, these are just some basic, simple, rudimentary Siri shortcuts that I wanted to show you. Obviously, as this launches and as I dig deeper into it, we can really surface some more complex actions that I think are really gonna save people a lot of time. And for people, power users, who really wanna dig into this stuff, it's going to be an amazing feature that Siri has that the other competitors don't really have quite yet. I really think Siri shortcuts is gonna be a great answer to competing with Google Home and Amazon Alexa. Siri may not be as smart as those platforms, but giving you this amount of customizability and this amount of automation in your voice assistant will really help you with your everyday common tasks and it can chain them together. So instead of just asking for what's the news or stuff like that, you'll be able to chain a command to give you the news, turn on your lights, text someone when you're coming home and just do a bunch of automation that will really save some time. All right, everyone, that's going to do it for this video. If you like the video, make sure you give it a like, subscribe to my channel to see more and let me know what you think of Siri shortcuts in the comments below. And I will see you in the next video. Take care, everyone.